There is a fighter in each one of us. No matter how weak you sometimes feel, there is a fighter in you. I was just so inspired by Louis's life, and I and I really felt I knew why so many people love the book. Louis is this extraordinarily witty, charming, full of fire, imperfect man. Louis's story is an extraordinary story because Louis's story is is all of our story. He is somebody who shows through all of his sufferings and all of his failings how we can rise up. Louis's always tried to be inspirational and help others, but he has always wanted to do it through a film. And he's waited 50 years, and now this is that moment. And I am so fortunate to be able to tell that story. Look at that great family. Yeah, they were wonderful, except me. <laughs> well, you turned out all right. My youth was, uh, it's just, I was rotten. <laughs> I was a rotten kid, and uh, I was inactive. You stand around, there's nothing to do, you get in trouble. I think I ended up in jail. I had a, I had a real uh, professional criminal life. My excitement came from seeing what I could get away with. This is during Prohibition. So I got a milk bottle and I filled it full of white paint, turned it upside down, let it drain for a day, and it would fill the milk bottle full of liquor. You want me to wind down, say my line? If it feels right. Okay. Let's reverse it up to that point. Well, I got most of my running in as a child, running from the cops. And so then they start talking about what to do with me. And my brother said, well, we got to get him into some activities. And the chief said, well, we've been chasing him all over town for three or four years. I should just run him. <laughs> and uh, what a transition it was. It was just unbelievable. But I made up my mind, I'm going to give in. I'm going to go all out uh, to be a runner. And so it wasn't long before I won my first race. And then I never lost another race for five years. Well, the Olympics, uh, I was still just a high school graduate, and uh, I thought the Olympics was too far out of my reach. Louis, a moment of pain is worth a lifetime of glory. You remember that? What I love so much about the story is that Louis didn't win at the Olympics. Next up. The 5,000 meter. With it America. was the fact that he was in a category beyond what he what he should have been in, and he he just pushed himself so hard, and he refused to fail. So all the great runners were out in front. And I couldn't keep up the pace because I gained 14 pounds on the boat eating all that free food. And Zamperini is fading too. Uh, but the last lap came, and I thought they were 50 yards ahead of me. And I remembered my brother telling me that one minute of pain, so I took off, sprinted the whole last quarter. Uh, the entire stadium, everybody jumped to their feet. Look at that same Farini. This might be the fastest final lap in Olympic history. <laughs> that's one thing you learn in sports uh, that's good for you is you don't give up. And that's important in the war, too. Get your cameras, boys. I'm going to light it up like Christmas. I was thrown under the tripod, 
and I couldn't budge. It was dark, I couldn't see anything. And then I ran out of air. After I passed out, supposedly dead, my eyes opened. And I was completely freed from the tripod, which is, I just, it's hard to believe, but I'm free and I know it. That was a real God-given miracle. I don't know how anybody lives through it. You're out in the middle of the largest ocean in the world, and there's no food. I think everybody made the same prayer. God, I'll seek you and I'll serve you if you get me hold alive to my family. Remember that story about Eddie Rickenbacker? They were drifting in rafts for 24 days. We beat Rickenbacker's record four days ago. And every day we all look at each other and think, how did they really survive this? After spending 47 days on a raft, they put me in this dungeon. And they called it Kwajalein. Well, we know what that was. That was Execution Island. And you're going to be decapitated? Oh, God. It, 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 it's hard to live with that thought in your mind. But finally, some officer who followed the Olympics in sports said rather than execution, I'd be better to send them to Japan to do radio propaganda. And uh, that's where I met the bird. And my torments began all over. Who is the Olympic athlete? The bird, he was given orders to make my life miserable. You are like me. We are both strong. I saw it in your eyes the first day. I thought this man will be my friend, but enemy of Japan. The camp was by far the worst because you're a victim and they can do what they want. This man must be taught respect. All other prisoners will teach him this lesson. Each prisoner will punch this man in his face. We cannot do that. Do it, sir. Come on. Just get over it. Punch him! It hurt! Come on! Hit me! Next! People have asked me, what is this story about? And his story is so big because he lived so many lives. But he faced every challenge. And what Louis did was he endured. And when he was knocked down, he got back up. And, and we've all been in that moment where we've just wanted to give up. And Louis felt that too. But he fought back and refused to be taken down. And this sweet little punk immigrant kid who didn't think very much of himself and felt he was going to amount to, to less than nothing became an inspiration to the world. Casting Louis was such a very, very difficult task, such an exciting thing. 
He had to be this person that you felt that the audience would root for. Somebody that does have a very strong spirit and somebody who's soulful enough to love and respect Louis, to understand the growth and the faith of the man. I, I just feel completely honored by the fact that I'd be able to immortalize uh, a life story of someone who's arguably lived three or four lifetimes. It was very interesting unraveling uh, what it was about Louis that gave him that level of endurance and how that backed him up in a prisoner of war environment. So I really wanted to know what fueled him. I settled with the opinion that he's not the most important person in his thinking. He's gonna have his own. And then when you want, I'll see. Sit at the And then they'll go. I think Montanabe was sick, but he was very, very well educated. He was very intelligent. And he was he's described in the book as a beautifully crafted monster. And so you have to cast somebody that actually is quite the opposite of that, somebody who's a great person. Because it's not somebody that's going to enjoy being a villain. It's somebody that really doesn't want to be a villain that will find the deeper side of what that means. But the Nabe is such a complex character. He's so brutal. <laughs> I think he was going insane. But he also had appreciation toward Louis. He thought Louis was a friend, but he was also afraid. He was also suffering in those moments. He was kind of trying to hide his weakness. So that's why I wanted to try to put humanity into the character. So Louis has been a part of the script, and he's been a part of the casting, and he's been a part of everything along the way. That's you, right? Yeah. Louis joked with me. He said, I've been praying. Did you get your locations? I said, Hi, we got our locations. Thanks for that. And then last night with the cyclone approaching, I thought, come on, Louis, you got to pray. <laughs> pray we get some sun. Pray we get some sun. And, uh, and now he's laughing at me. Now we get some rain. <laughs> um, and we got sun all day until we finished shooting. And now it's raining. Let it just wash over you. I mean, it's important that it just feels real. It is such a big adventure. We're kind of retracing these extraordinary footprints. And so the journey we're on, from the visual effects to the scale and the size of the sets, to the rigs and the stunts and the raft work and the water work, somehow Louis' story brings people together to push themselves to be their best. And we go against the difficult days, then you feel like that's what you gotta do for, for Louis. The perseverance, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't give in. There's always an answer to everything.